Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been creating this scroll spy indicator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is how it works. We can click on any of these dots and we'll be taken to that section. And uh, the active section that is on the screen will be highlighted as the red color over here. So if you scroll up, we can see that the services section has the red color. Now in the previous video, we wrote the HTML and CSS and this is how it looks right now. So we can click on any of these sections and we can go to that section. But we haven't added the functionality of activating these dots over here. So when we click on the download section, we need to have this dot displayed in red color instead of the first dot. So in this video, we will do that using JavaScript. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here is our source code and the first thing we need to do is create a JavaScript file. So let's create a file called main.js and let's link it in our HTML file. So here I'll just type script colon src and press tab and here I'll just type main.js and here we'll also add an attribute called differ so that the JavaScript is loaded after the whole content of the page is loaded. Now we're going to use something called the intersection observer in JavaScript to detect which of these sections are inside the viewport. The viewport is basically the area where the content of the website is shown in the browser. So this right here is the viewport. And we need to detect which of these sections enter the viewport and which of these sections are outside the viewport. So for that, as I said earlier, we're going to use intersection observer. So let's go to our main.js file and let's create a constant called observer. You can name this anything you want and you have to set it equal to a new intersection observer. So let's type intersection observer. Now for the intersection observer, you need to have two arguments. The first one is a function. So let's create a function called add active class because we need to add the active class which we have in the style or CSS file. So here we can see we have this active class and when we have the active class, we are adding the background color red to the dot. So for adding the active class, we're going to create this add active class function. And the next argument is the options that we need to have for the intersection observer. And for that, we need to have an object. So we'll create an object called options. You can name this anything you want. Right now, let's create this function and this options object. So first of all, let's create an empty object. We'll add the options later. So let's type options equals and we'll create an empty object. And now let's create the add active class function. So let's tap const add active class. Now for this function, we need to have two arguments. The first one is the number of entries, which is an array. So let's tap entries. You can name this anything you want. And the next one is the observer, which we created over here. So let's pass that over here, observer. Now entries is basically an array which uh, represents all the items that we are observing. So before continuing with this function, let's first of all observe the elements that we need. So if you go back to our HTML file, here we can see we have these sections and we need to observe these sections and we need to see which of these sections are inside the viewport. So let's go to our main.js file and let's select all the sections. So here I'll just type const sections equals document dot query selector all and here let's tap section now this will select all the sections that we have in our html and store it inside this sections constant now we need to loop through all these sections and we need to observe each of them so let's type sections and we'll use a for each loop so let's type dot for each now for the single section i'll just call it section and uh, let's create an arrow function now here you need to type observer dot observe and here we need to pass these sections so we have this uh, variable called section over here so let's pass that over here now what this will do is it will loop through all the sections and observe each of the sections right now let's continue with our add active class function now the first thing we will do is we will loop through all the entries because this is basically an array so let's tap entries and we will use for each to loop and for each of the single entries, I'll just call it entry. Right now, let's create an arrow function. Now here we need to check whether the entry is in the viewport. So we can use an if condition for that. So let's type if. And here I'll just type entry. And here we need to type dot is intersecting. 
Now, if any of the entry or any of the sections are in the viewport, this if condition will be true. So the first thing we will do is we'll just console.log it so that we can see that everything is working all right. So I'll just type entry. Right now, let's go back to our design and let's open the console. I'll just right click over here and click on inspect. And uh, let's open the console. And here we can see we have these two entries. And if we open one of these, we have a target. And the target is basically the section. And if you open the second entry, and if you go to target, we have the services section. Now what we will do is we'll directly display this target. So let's go back and here I'll just type entry dot target. And now we can see we have the about section and services section. And if you scroll down, we can see whenever the downloads section is visible on the screen, we have the downloads section displayed over here. So if you scroll up and if you scroll down, we can see the downloads is displayed over here. And if you scroll down even more, now we can see testimonials is displayed over here. So in this way, we can detect which of these sections are displayed on the screen. Right, let's refresh this and uh, if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that as soon as uh, at least one pixel of the download section is visible on the screen, we have it detected over here. But we want to have a little bit of threshold. So what we can do is we can add options for that. So let's go back and here in the options, let's create a threshold. So let's tap threshold and we'll just set it to 0 0.8. You can experiment with these values and come up with your own number. This number works fine for our design. So let's go back. Now we can see services is displayed over here. And if we scroll down and here at the bottom, we can see that the download section is visible, but it is not detected over here. So if we scroll up and scroll up even more, and now we can see that the download section is detected. And now if we scroll up, and now we can see that the services section is detected. Let's scroll down and uh, here we can see the testimonial section, but it is not being detected over here. So let's scroll up a little bit. And uh, now we can see that the testimonial section is displayed over here. So now threshold is working all right. Now the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to add the active class to the current section. So for that, let's go back and we'll just remove this console.log from here. And let's write the code to add the active class. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the ID of the section. So here we can see for each of the sections, we have the IDs. We have about services, downloads and testimonials. And if you scroll up for the anchor tags, we have this href with the same ID. So we can select these anchor tags based on the IDs. So what we're going to do is if you go back over here and if I just bring back the console.log and if I just type target.id and if I open the console once again, here we can see that the ID is displayed over here. So what we can do is we can select the anchor tags with the href of this ID so that we can add the active class to that. So let's go back and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a variable. So let's create a variable called current dot equals and here let's type document dot query selector. And now we need to select the anchor tag with the href which has the ID of the entry that is uh, intersecting. So I'll just add it inside backticks because we need to add a variable as well. So if you go back to the HTML file, here we can see we have this division with the class of scroll indicator. So let's type dot scroll indicator. And in that we have the anchor tag. And we need to select it based on the href. So for that you need to type square brackets. And in that you have to type href equals. And if you go back to the HTML file, here we can see we have this hash before the ID name. So let's go back and here we will add the hash. And after that we need to add the ID of the entry. So I'll just type dollar symbol curly braces and uh, here let's type entry dot target dot id. Right now this will give us the active dot. Now we need to add the active class to that. So let's type current dot dot class list dot add active. Right now let's go back to our design and if you scroll down we can see we have the services dot active over here and if you scroll down even more now we can see that the downloads dot is active and if you scroll down even more we have the testimonials dot active now when we have one of these dots active we need to have all the other dots inactive so we need to remove the active class from all the other dots so let's go back and let's create a function for that let's create a function called remove active class 
And first of all, I'll just select all the dots. So let's tap const dots equals document dot query selector all. And the dots are basically anchor tags. So let's type dot scroll indicator a. Right now let's loop through all the dots. So let's type dots dot for each. And for each of the dots, I'll just call it dot. And here we just need to type dot dot class list dot remove active. And here in the add active class function, we need to call the remove active class function. So let's type remove active class. So now it will first of all remove all the active classes and then add the active class to the current dot. So let's go back and uh, now let's test it out. Let's scroll down. And now we can see that the services dot is active. Let's scroll down even more. Now we have the downloads dot active and now we have the testimonials dot active. And we can click on any of these dots and uh, we have the correct dot active. So everything is working all right. So that's basically how you can create a scroll spy indicator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Right, that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.